Good morning everybody and welcome to today's installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. Today we are in my wife's 2015 Ford Fiesta SE. Just celebrated five year ownership with this car. And, you know, surprisingly enough, I shouldn't say that, but surprisingly enough, guess what's back? Yep, another failed climate control door actuator. So I'm going to move this one back a little bit because, you know, uh, you're going to be a little surprised <laughs> when uh, we look at what the problem is because the, the plot twist in all this is it is not the same actuator that was broken before. Another actuator has failed in the dashboard. So um, if you have uh, you know, not been following my series and seeing the entire ownership experience of this few or fiesta so far this fiesta has gone through a total of three blendor actuators and what the blendor actuator is is it's the actuator that controls the door for the air distribution through all of the vents so if you want the air to come straight out of the front vents here that actuator will turn that door until it's in the position for all of the air to come through the front vents. If you want it on uh, up at the windshield, the defrost mode, and you hit the frost, it'll turn the door so that only the air comes out of the, the defrost vents. Um, it's on its third one. I had to replace one myself a few years after we, we had this car long enough, and then when we bought this car, we actually it was the one had failed already so that was replaced under warranty when we bought the car but now we have another actuator in the dash that has failed and um i'm actually kind of glad it's the one that it is because it's going to be a lot easier to get to so my wife told me uh, a few weeks ago that her car started making a clicking noise again and immediately i thought it was going to be the air distribution uh actuator because what happens is if we go through the modes here oops, I, don't want that. I can hear the actuator changing so this one's still good but every time that we got to the front vents just the front vents like this it would start clicking like that obnoxiously so when I came out here to look at it that was not the one that has failed the one that has failed is the recirc door, also known as the air inlet door actuator. Because this one is in charge of either bringing fresh air from the outside of the car or recycling the air that is already in the car. So when it goes into open position, meaning we're letting air come in from the outside we heard it change no problem but let's recycle the air that's inside the car there it is so when it goes into a closed position that is where we have our problem now unlike the air door or the distribution actuator which is located way up in here behind this side of the dash we had to go under the steering column in through here to actually change that and that's why I'm so thankful it's not that one this time even though we're not out of the woods I'm sure at some point in the future it's gonna fail again this one is located behind the glove box um, so we have to remove the glove box you'll actually hear it a lot clearer now that the glove box is open. Yep. So 
So we need to remove the glove box and it's going to be directly behind that. Also, this whole repair shouldn't take that long. So with the glove box open, you're gonna see that there's this little rubber bump stop here. And there's another bump stop here. So what we gotta do now is squeeze the sides of the glove box. And that's gonna drop the glove box down. All right, so with the glove box down, it's right there. That is it, so it is really right there. And there's the, the vent right there. So you can see it's in the open position at this end, which, which means it's recycling all of the air from inside the car. If I hit the button to get it to go bring air in from the outside, You've seen that door just shut, so let's open it back up. Yeah, who knows? Who knows why they do that? Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to unplug it so it's got a red lock on it. So pull the red lock out. Oh, well, I pulled it a little too much. <laughs> um, that's okay, just don't lose it. So put it down and then we can squeeze the tab and unplug said connector. Just try to tuck it somewhere so it's not in the way. And then there are two Torx head screws, one there and one up there. They kind of, uh, they're kind of across from each other, diagonally. And I do believe that should be a T20, so. Yeah, focus. Okay. Yeah, T20. So now I gotta Hope that I can get my ratchet through there and we can loosen that up. All right, so I decided to remove the entire glove box. It's actually gonna be easier. It just pulls out of uh, the little openings there. That makes it a lot easier. Whoops. It was kind of tough, but it's, uh, it comes out. Oh yeah, this makes it so much easier to do. Oh yeah. Definitely easier than the other actuator. Is it loose enough yet? No. Oh, see, there it goes. Right. We're getting to the end of the line, I think. Now I did bring out another socket. It's for the three-quarter inch, but it's got a thicker end on it, so there we go. I can use it as a screwdriver. All right, so there's one. Yay. And the other one, a little further back. I could probably actually use this bigger ratchet on there, since there's more room back there. Okay, it's working. backs out it gets tighter as the uh, fuse box okay my fingers got it now so it's loose all right there's the other one so now It is. It looks just like the other one. Now it might have a different part number. I don't know. There it is. So this is the part number for the new one. The actual Ford part number. And this is the actual motorcraft number up there. YH1895. 
So, let's open it up. So, the old one's out. Here's our new one. And this, these teeth are going to be lined up where the, you know, the door teeth are. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to, you know, it's only going to go on one way because of that space there in, the, in these teeth. So, just going to have to kind of, you know, carefully rotate it around. Okay, right there. So, there we go. So, obviously, we got the teeth in. It's closing the door and whatnot, but that's not the way that the motor's supposed to sit. So, I'm going to try to rotate it. This actuator might be set in the, uh, you know, outdoor position. Yeah, maybe about halfway. Almost there, come on. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then lining up with the dowels. And that should be it. So the actuator is kind of set, looks like, in the halfway point between fully open and fully closed. So now that that's in there, um, we'll go ahead and put our screws in. All right, I'd use my left hand for that back one. I'm not left-handed, so that was kind of weird. But anyway, I got them tightened down, both both sides. So she's in. We gotta plug it in. Other way, I think. No, that's the right way. There we go. And the little red lock. No, it won't go anywhere. All right, let's see what happens. So, it's in recirc, but it looks like the door closed on me. No, it didn't move at all. All right, so let's hit a button. Oh, it's opening, here we go. Here we go, okay. Let's go to outside mode. Let's open it. Let's close it. Let's open it one more time. Done deal. Done deal. Okay, so the best way to get the glove box back on the hinges is to actually have it sitting past the bumpers like this. And then kind of wedging it in there. And then obviously once the bumpers are in place, that's the end of that. So then you just put all your stuff back in the glove box and you call it a day. And that's how you fix the door actuator for the air inlet door on the 15 Fiesta and I'm sure all other Fiestas of this generation and uh, done done deal that was quick that was a quick video um, I got nothing else right now you might want to stay tuned to the next vlog however because the next vlog is going to be um, it's gonna be a sad one it's gonna be real sad um, because we are making a huge thing Oh, so um, it's time for you guys to check that out uh, in the next next vlog. So, other than that, this thing's done. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> I, I say it like it's not going to happen. Eventually, another actuator is going to fail. <laughs> I'm going to have to replace it again. It's just how they are with these. Ford is not very promising when it comes to their um, actuators in the dash. But that one was easy. I wouldn't mind doing that one again. Um, for as little as that one gets used, I'm, I'm really surprised it even failed at all. But that is all, guys. This video's over. I don't even know how long it's going to be. Like, what, 10, 15 minutes? But anyway, 
If you guys enjoyed it, if it was helpful for you and your Fiesta, you know, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Check out teespring.com slash source slash Mike's Fiegel Spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise. That's all that I've got for today. So I will see you next week in a very, very sad vlog. And uh, until then, take care, guys. Okay.